Bearings are directional using the cardinal points as a basis. Bearings are used in navigation, location and measure. As usual, we got some rules that have to be followed. The order that bearings take, for instance, the bearing of T from S, is counterintuitive. The target is noted first, and the starting point from where the bearing is measured is second. So to measure the bearing, we need a north mark. We put this at the starting point. BTW North is always pointing straight to the top of your page or screen. Connect the two points with a line if there isn't one already. This creates an angle between the north and the line to our target. In this example, we'd measure and find it's 105 degrees. Notice we measure from north, round in a clockwise sweep until we hit the line to the target point. If the angle is less than 100 degrees, we still maintain the three-digit format with zeros. 60 degrees is 060 degrees, and 6 degrees would be 006. Sometimes we are given angles here, 125 degrees, and use our understanding of a straight line or full rotation. Remembering the bearing is measured in a clockwise. Direction, we can subtract the 125 from 360 and get the bearing. In the other direction, Z from Y, either realizing the two angles are equal because they are corresponding, or because we know that same side. Interior angles total 180 degrees, so we can find the missing angle. 180 minus 125 is also 45 degrees or zero, 45 degrees as a bearing. Wow, running out of breath, but that's maths, bruh. Subs, comments, likes, and shares are like vitamin pills for me right now. So, you'll be right and understood.